I hope I don't butcher that too much. But basically, the Carolina Marin Stadium here in Huelva. And uh, it's all happening inside, though it's quiet outside. On this balmy day in southwest Spain. A couple of matches have unfolded already. We are motoring on to our second men's singles then on day two from the bottom half of the men's singles draw. It's uh, almost 100 ranking spots between them. And it ought to be another lopsided match because American Howard Shu is uh, ranked 112 in the world. His opponent, richly talented for Hong Kong China, the 13th seed, Li Chuk Yu. And this is how the land lies in the draw. With an Indonesian up above having won his match. And let's keep Duachuk. So three courts of hustle and bustle out here in Cuerva city of Carolina, Marin's uh, birthplace of course and sadly she was unable to take part with still her recovering knee. <clears throat> and perhaps we should say that um, Adel Rizki Tukayo is indeed born Indonesian but he represents Azerbaijan so I think we had the uh, wrong um, flag on there. Yeah, welcome Steve. Nice to be working with you again. So looking forward to this one then. This man. Another tight, fresh haircut by the looks of things. Ali Chuk Yu of Hong Kong, China, 13th seed, world number 15, taking on a man of experience, Howard Shu, six foot one. 30-something American, ranked the other side of 100 in the rankings. How will he go today against the uh, talented man in the red? So Lee electing the near side. So a quick uh, change of ends. And he's just one spot off of his career high is Lee Chuk Yu. He was 14 in the world for four weeks between October and November of this year, playing off a ranking of 15. First meeting between these two, we don't quite know what to expect, but uh, if ranking's anything to go by, it might look a little lopsided, but we'll see how it uh, shoot a man of experience, the American. Again, playing badminton age date. His father, who played in Taiwan, encouraged him to join the local badminton clubs and uh, entered in, into the junior nationals. He's competed at the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio. 31 years of age right now, almost six foot in height. Born in Los Alamitos, but resides in LA, Los Angeles. Has been up to 53 in the world. That was in June, six years ago, 2015. Tall and imposing. How will he get on today? against his uh, opponent from Hong Kong, China here. 5 foot 10 tall, 1 meter 78. He's uh, won 10, lost 7 matches this year. And as I say, just one spot off his career high for the 25-year-old. And he was the surprise Hong Kong Open champion a couple of years ago, 2019. And, uh, well, so richly talented, he, he really did surprise the badminton world after in the quarterfinals and semis he downed the former world champion Victor Axelsson and then former world number one Srikanth Kidambi respectively and then went on to take out the former world number three Anthony Ginting in the final in a fairy tale finish to an extraordinary week. But he's backed it up as well with uh, an Indonesian Masters semi-final last year and a semis of the Denmark Open recently in the European swing just a little while ago. So, uh, you know, we know of his pedigree, Steve, a top player, and I'm wondering if uh, if Howard Chu has much resistance against it today. But, of course, it's a first-round match, Dean, and we often talk about it, doesn't it? It takes these players a while to settle. Yeah, but there's, um, there's so much uh, level difference between these two players that it would be a huge surprise if uh, Howard Chu can um, trouble Lee Chu Yu. The most worrying thing for... The man from uh, Hong Kong, China, is uh, the strapping on his um, right calf there. Yeah, it looks pretty heavy duty, doesn't it? Yeah.
slight and sinewy. Greyhound lean. Interesting little section of the draw. Ant Thompson looms down below at the third as the third seed. Perhaps a third round opponent for this match should he manage to come through his little section. It's all if shoulds and maybes, but uh, we'll wait and see. But this first round men's single is just about to get underway. On show court two, our third match would be motoring through day two so far. A 39 minute men's singles in which Darren Liu uh, came through against Zilberman of Israel and then a mixed doubles of just 21 minutes. So our umpire is uh, just having uh, issues with his uh, score pad, I think. And he's just uh, gestured with his palm up as if to say, just give, just give me a minute, fellas. Just need to get this sorted. Sometimes happens. So it's quite an uncomfortable moment for an umpire because, of course, that's their sort of pad for control and it's their uh, comfort blanket, I guess. Our players are ready. And uh, wires are being handed around to the umpire to get his equipment uh, all top-notch. Thumbs up from the umpire. I think we're pretty much ready to uh, get underway here. Paul Hand and Steen Pedersen enjoying your company for the next three matches together. Thereafter, Steen will take over. And on my left, Lee Chik Yu. Hong Kong, China. Howard Chu to serve. Love all. Play. Didn't do a great deal in Indonesia, did he, this man? A couple of first round losses. Yes, and that's why the um, strapping on the uh, right calf is uh, a little bit worrying, in my opinion. Ten over, one, all. Yeah, it, it might have seem like he, yeah, that, that he's noticing um, some kind of injury, but um, uh, he lost to uh, Victor Axelsen in. Um, the first tournament and to uh, Cho Chin Tian in the second one, so that's uh, that happens once in a while. You lose to to those two players, uh, and especially um, two, with slow shot. Lee Chu is uh, is a native attacking player, and uh, of course it hurts him uh, when the playing conditions are um, a bit slow, as they were in um, Indonesia and as they were yesterday here in um, the uh, Carolina Marine Sports Palace. Um, Well, that was going wide. Yeah. Yeah. Nervously played it. Still yet to settle. Set us over. Two. Oh. So he's thriving in um, more drifty conditions. There is a little bit of drift here in the arena, but but more drift is to the advantage of uh, each of you. Prevents his opponent from playing. Over. Too Three, accurately two accurately to the lines and gives him lots of opportunities for using his um, very strong attack. Pretty silky hand skills there, Steve. Four, was, uh, two. Five, two. 
super tight net play. For Howard Schuett, Six, throughout his year two. of tour, he's decorated with titles at VWF International Challenge Series level. Ten titles for Schuett from that sort of category of tournament. Nine runners up showings as well, so, uh, you know, he'll be confident in that regard. But this is a completely different art. Seven, a step up in quality two. playing the world number 15. Yeah, all the, uh, the wins and runners up is uh, tournaments played in the uh, Pan American uh, continent. So um, it really is um, most of the times uh, different levels. Eight. In uh, two. Olympic qualification periods, um, the strength of the tournaments lies pretty much all over the world because there's a lot of players traveling more than uh, they normally do in order to. Uh, Gain Olympic qualification. Searing straight and smash finds its mark. Yeah, exactly. Nine, two. Eight points in a row then for the man. Ten. Two. In the purple gear with his back to us. He took you. It's gone wide. Eleven, two. It's a lopsided Interval. start favouring Lee. He is all over this. Bit of a tepid start at the very beginning, but suddenly accelerating away with that, nine points in a row. So he knows now, Lee Chen Yu, that um, barring any accidents, um, there's a good chance that he'll be able to pull this off so he can use it as um, a bit of a play. -in. Cartoon, 20 seconds. It's going to be his um, task from now on, and uh, of course, making sure that, um, that he's not uh, sort of. Uh, 11-2. Falling down in uh, tension and uh, giving Howard Shu the belief that he can uh, trouble the man from Hong Kong. Yeah, he's reading the plays nicely of his opponent, isn't he? As anticipated. 12-2. Shu has... Uh, Knocked on the door of the top 50 back in June 2015. He was 53 in the world, but you know, a gulf in uh, in, in level, really. With respect. Yeah, using a lot of deception in that rally. The man from Hong Kong, China, looking very polished at the moment. Early stages, it's uh, helping him settle nicely. And the thing is, I mean, for for um, the ones that have um, um, watched matches with Li Chun Yu previously, um, we can see that he's um, he's playing at. Um, at a very relaxed pace over. in this match here. Yeah. So he's able to uh, turn it up a notch if um, that should be uh, needed. Yeah, he looks very... Uh, he's got a light chassis, hasn't he? He's not carrying much at all. It, he's it's really normally fast on his feet. Yeah. Yes. Kill there from the American. Four, fourteen. Just to uh, retain an interest in this opener. A 
just a little too greedy. Lee. Five, fourteen. No, that's wonderful. Good defence from the American Six, there. Read the play nicely. 14. Saw the cross smash coming and just stuck out his uh, racket down the backhand side. Lovely straight block. Set us over. 15-6. wonder what she's thinking. Help. Um, I think it's fair to say that uh, Archie is not at um, his very best. He was at the World Championship back in um, 2015 in, um, in Jakarta where he played um, a fellow countryman of Lee Chugyu, Lan Wei, and um, that was a uh, Hot fought uh, three game match and also participated in the Olympics in 2016. So, um, so it's not like he's an inexperienced player, and um, it's a good run in this one, mm, yeah. Well, it's well played, good placement, yeah. But also, applause from uh, 16 6 the coach of Hong Chu. And it gets some rallies going. Yeah, it's encouraging. Oh, that's nice. Great deception there. Lovely racket work, shaving around the right hand side of the shuffle just to six. get it up and down quickly. the mark of his talents. He's nonchalantly 18, brilliant at times, isn't he, six. Lee? Makes the game look very, very easy. So floats around the court with his light body frame and he, like you say, Steen, he moves like a, an electric car. <laughs> so quick. Oh, nice. I thought you meant you can't hear him. <laughs> He's pretty light on his feet as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Six. Yeah. Oh, that's nice from the American. Well played. Seven over. Seven. Nineteen. Got him down as a streaky 19. player, Steen. You know, he's had a run here at 12, then he switches off momentarily just a little bit and then suddenly explodes with another flurry of five points, does Lee. He's, uh, <laughs> he seems fun-loving, a bit of a rock star Sober, kind of player. 20, game point, eight. Uh, well, game. it's been an easy first game. First game won by Lean to you. Yeah, takes it comfortably. Eight. Just 12 minutes needed. 21 points to eight. Looking good. The 13th seed in the men's singles. Settling nicely out here.
Turn two, 20 seconds. Turn two, 20 seconds. Okay, Chuck, you. First Second two, uh, game. Get back Love to the court. Keen to uh, continuing this fine form. Play. Start of game two. He's a game to the good, the man from Hong Kong, China, 25 years of age. Championships where we have uh, this match here that's rather lopsided, and then uh, yesterday we uh, had a fantastic uh, match to start with Lu Guang Su defeating uh, the three time world junior champion Kuna Witwitsan, who came three. to score um, the world tour finals. And uh, that was a totally different uh, match. And for Witwitsan, had he survived the first round. Uh, got a day off uh, and then uh, played the second round. It could have been a totally different uh, tournament for him. For uh, love. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it, how, how it all unfolds. As you say, I'm with you entirely. He could have had a deep run, couldn't he? Had he just had a little bit more time and survived that opener, you know. Uh, and of course, across a big draw like this, it's um, there's so many of those kind of stories, you know. We're going to see later on today, not on our court, but on the adjacent court one. Now we're going to see um, Victor Axelson on, uh, on the hot favourites to, to win this tournament. He's going to be up against Loken Yu yeah. in the first round, where um, Lo, if you watched anything from the Indonesia Badminton Festival, you've seen him reach the final of the uh, Indonesia Open Super 1000 tournament. Three game affair. Yeah. Good challenge. Successful. No, One sorry. challenge no remaining. Set it over. One, four. Play. Interesting article as well, Steen, on the VWF site that, that um, Victor was sort of suggesting it's so important to remain Five, humble one. despite all of his accolade and celebrations and titles this year. He's just getting out there. Of course, he's tired like the rest of them and just, you know, just wants to get about it and, and, and respectfully hope that he can play well. Yeah, I mean, you don't really have to uh, think too much ahead, take one match at a time. Um, and then I, I thought that he was about Two, to go five. up in one of the early rounds in Indonesia Open Big Tracks and then he uh, managed to uh, weather the storm and, and win the two tournaments coming. So um, it's a little bit about the same here in the World Championships. Focus on the match in front of you and, uh, Six, and see what uh, two. occurs the next time you're on court. Yeah, and he's talking very much about living in the moment, isn't he? You know, just you know, one shuttle at a time, really trying to sort of, you know, just, just go about his day like that, see what it brings, and as you say, weather the storm, do what you can on the day, it's all you can do, isn't it? Yeah. Seven, two. Everything with such precision from each of you. Two. Got so many ways to hurt. That said, though, Howard Shu played a couple of really good net shots earlier in the game. Of course, missing uh, Bei Wen Zhang, the uh, Team USA, she would have been uh, the strongest Ten, contender for their two. Is she players hurt? here. Is she hurt, Steve? Injured or? Yeah, she's recovering from her torn Achilles at the Olympics. 
and um, I don't know how far she is. I can see some uh, uh, stories on her Instagram that Three, she's practicing uh, in Las Vegas. Bei Wing Jung and uh, He's putting together some good points, isn't he? There's little glimmers of hope and shards of light in here for Howard Shu, but you no, sense no, in the overall I don't picture. Think there is. No, it, I, you know, it's encouraging, but it's not. It's not <laughs> no, going to happen. No, exactly. But it's, uh, you yeah. know, there's moments. There's moments. I wonder if that little strapping on the knee um, 11, is limiting four, uh, his, his movement. Um, this is bigger than I expected. Um, thing is that if, if you go for winning only a few points then you will be able to do it because you can, uh, you can take so many chances in the rallies so uh, uh, I'd expected a little bit more I'd expected uh, Lee to uh, win comfortably but I'd expect more from uh, Howard Chu. Curve 2, 20 seconds, curve 2, 20 seconds. Sixteen years since uh, USA won their only gold 11, medal at the World Championships play. this year. What discipline was that in? Well, that was the uh, men's doubles with uh, Tony Kunavan uh, representing USA on that um, edition. They relocated from uh, Indonesia to uh, California and uh, representing four. USA, and together with Howard Back, sensationally won the. Uh, men's title back in uh, 2005 in Anaheim. Really uh, surprising win there, but with lots of support from uh, a full stadium in uh, Anaheim. Five, twelve. Great knowledge, well done. You can also see that uh, in the... Uh, 13, tournaments on five. the European Tour, Pan American Tour right now. There's some uh, young American players uh, making their way forward. And yeah, it's encouraging, isn't it? There's not normally a hotbed of uh, badminton talent, is it? 14, well, I, th five. I think there's some, some opportunities, um, much more accessible nowadays badminton with uh, social media uh, youtube streaming and uh, extensive coverage from uh, all the world tour tournaments so uh, over. much easier Six. to uh, get inspiration By each of you, but, but you always uh, also he, he didn't really anticipate where it was coming, he was nowhere near it. And in, 16, in, uh, 6 in defensive shoe, which does the same, we don't know really how much he's been able to practice. He hasn't played a lot of uh, matches this year, but um, from what I understand, the lockdown due to coronavirus has been uh, severe in uh, California. Seven, 16. And also, even if he can, does he does he manage to get high caliber practice? Uh, you know, back home must yeah. be difficult for him. So that's eight. Probably what 16. we should have in mind when uh, evaluating this. Uh, Match here. Oh, 
He's just got so much deception, hasn't he? The so so he's got time on the shuttle. He's just 17, eight. His, his trickery that he's playing with the shuttle, seemingly. It's just next level stuff for the American, isn't it? Super tight, well done. Set us over. 9.17. Well, already eclipsing his efforts in game two than he did in game one. Howard shoot. this is encouraging. Can he get to double figures? Took the toll of the tick there. Set us over. 18.9. Silver, 10, 18. Nicely done, mixing it up nicely. Silver, 19. And accelerating Ten. towards the finish line right now, just two points away after 25 minutes. The 25-year-old from Hong Kong, China, giving a bit of a masterclass out here on two. Set us over. And Howard Chu wants a little more. 19. Determined to... Uh, Detain his opponent and stay as long as he can and really wallow in this. Nicely done. Got that as well. Well, a hat trick of points just at the 13, back end of this match. 19. And he's really bringing his best right now as Howard Shu. Well, the encouraging. Three point Sam flurry Silver. comes to an end. 20 match points. And after 20. 26 minutes, Lee Chuk Yu has seven match points. Sam Silver, 14 20. Coming through at a counter, Li Chuk Yu of Hong Kong, China, as the 13th seed. Match one by Li Chuk Really Chiu. looking very, very comfortable Eight. on 21, day two here 14. in his first round encounter. He'll be pleased to breeze through that one. Nice little run out and got to sort of tap into all parts of his game without being overly tested. And that said respectfully of Howard Chu, who put together some good little runs of points and in the end the 13th seed coming through 21-8-21-14 in 28 minutes a solid showing from Lee as he uh, takes leave of the court next up it's another mixed doubles Lee and Su against McPherson and Hall
welcome back to Guelva, the population around 150,000. It's home to uh, the oldest football club in Spain, Recreativo de Huelva, and it was founded around 1889. 